Hello and welcome to Worth Reviewing and this is the Ford Fiesta ST. Now before you carry on watching this video, please bear in mind I won't actually be driving it today as I'm not insured. I know, I'm gutted as I'd love to drive one of these, but it's okay because later on I'll be in the passenger seat with my mum next to me doing launch control for the first time. Fingers crossed it goes okay, but for now I'll be showing the ins and outs and of course the exhaust noise. So let's start the front of the car. Now the first thing you'll notice is the body colour, which is called Silver Fox, which looks absolutely stunning. And it does look like a primer coat, but it's not. It's the finishing coat, trust me. You think of the full LED headlights, which look the absolute nuts in this car, make the whole front end of the car look so much more aggressive. Now this is the ST2 version, and comes standard with 17 inch alloy wheels. Or if you have the ST3, you get 18 inch alloy wheels standard, and you can also get red painted calipers. You've also got hands-free opening, which is very handy. Now, as we move on to the back of the car, this is what I think the car lacks the most. It doesn't look exactly the best rear end for a small hot hatch, especially with these rear lights. You've got this little lip here at the edge here. I'm not really a fan of that. Maybe that's something that could be dressed as a facelift version. So though you've got a nice big spoiler with a lip on the edge and the rear diffuser, which looks quite sporty, and the twin exhaust pipe tips. And you then got the sexy transporter badge. I think that's what it stands for. As you open the boot, you got a standard Fiesta size boot space. Nothing small, nothing big. The way I see it is the smaller the boot size space, the less weight, which means weight reduction. And what does that mean, people? It means race car. So if you own one of these Fiesta STs, you own a race car. Something like that. Let's move on to the interior. Now, as we get in the back of the car, this is where things start getting interesting because I've just hoovered this car and I've got clean shoes on. So I've got to be very careful. I got in okay. Now the back seats seem comfy enough. Can't really compare comfort to a sports car. Um, I mean, it seems roomy in here. It's got seats, it's got seat belts. It's got headrests that go up and down. It's good enough for me. Now the front interior seems very homely, nothing too bland, nothing too fancy in here, just a nice interior inside. You've got full performance scratch guards as you get into the car. You've got nice Recaro bucket seats in here, or if you've got the SV3 version, these go leather. You've got a nice sports steering wheel with blue stitching in the inside. You've got steering wheel controls obviously, auto headlights, auto wipers auto main beam you've got dual climate control down here with the heated seats and heated steering wheel some of the items that i'm explaining to you now are an optional extra and some of them do come standard with the car or standard with the st3 it depends what car you get you've then got 12 volt socket at the bottom down here and down here you've also got a usb slot in the glove box and down here you've got carbon fiber trimming surrounds and here that goes all the way along here you've got a start stop button here you got an instrument cluster which is has dials and is not the screen which is nice i like that i like ford have kept the uh, old school rather than going in screens here on a sports car but we've got a nice touch screen here which has ford sync 3 which is uh, user friendly it's got wi-fi it's got dab bluetooth all the things you'd find in a modern day car um you got cd player in the glove box here along the glove box stuff um down at the bottom here we've got different driving modes so if you press the mode button it will come to display saying depends what driving your mode you're in uh, normal you then go into sport which means the exhaust gets louder as the flap will open and you then go to track which turns off the traction control and turns off the esc a bit more um if i've missed out anything at all in track mode or sports mode let me know in the comments You've also got ESC off if you want to turn it off for doing wheel spins if you want to impress someone. And auto start stop. Um, why you'd want that in a sports car, no idea. Um, probably due down to emissions. 
Ford have done a great job with this. A handbrake, yes, well done Ford, you've kept a handbrake in a sports car. No electronic finger brake, we like that, which means we could do handbrake turns. That is good stuff. You've now got a manual gearbox, which is good, which is Ford have always put in their Fiesta ST cars. We don't want automatics, we want manuals. We want the clutch, we want manual. That is good. Six speed with reverse usually helps. As I say, you've got an armrest here, which is quite comfy as a driving position. So all in all, it's very nice. This car does come with quite a few upgrades to the ST2 model. Um, it has the B&O premium sound system, which comes with 10 um, speakers and a subwoofer which is it's quite loud. It goes from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz of frequency response and has 675 watts um, output. Um, so all in all, it's very nice in here. You've got electronic windows to the rear. That's an auto optional extra. Um, you've also got hazards and indicators usually help going around roundabouts. And this car also comes with the Ford Performance Package, which includes limited slip diff, launch control and gear gear shift lights that tell you up into up shift and down shift um, for those who are into racing. Ford a few months ago from today have released a Ford Fiesta ST limited edition which is they're only making only a few of them um, and they come in orange they've got the full performance um, package installed of them standard the b &I premium sound system and the Ford LED headlights you then got also got a standard on that car. You've got coilovers which are tuned at the Nurburgring test track, and it comes in an orange, like I've said, and eight inch alloy wheels, which does look quite good as you can see in the picture shown now. It does look quite stunning. I have no idea what the price of that is yet. Ford haven't released the price details of that yet. So that is still yet to be released. Now the price from this car starts at just over twenty thousand pounds and it goes maxed out with all the optional extras, just over twenty seven thousand pounds. So if you have got to spare quite a few thousand pounds, I would highly recommend buying this car, as it is a great car. And I know I can't drive it, but I've heard nothing but good reviews. So I would highly recommend it. You've also got heart, you've also got a panoramic roof, which is very nice and lets a lot of air into the car. And a rear one, which doesn't go pulled back the window. The blind just goes back, which lets even more air into the car. And you've also got that, which usually helps in the sunlight. Um, so all in all very nice. Let's try out the sound. Now a lot of people, are, well not a lot of people, but I'm thinking a lot of people are going to be thinking about the engine which is only a three cylinder and creates 200 brake horsepower which is quite a lot of, quite a lot of horses for a small or one less cylinder car because the previous version was a the Mark 7.5 Fiesta ST which generated 180 brake horsepower. Now that is the four cylinder 1.6 and this is the 1.5 three cylinder. So you've now got one less cylinder and obviously people with these cars might want to upgrade them. So how much of an upgrade you can do before maybe the engine struggles, I've no idea. I know that there are Revo and mounting upgrades that take the engine to 225 brake horsepower. So an extra 25 brake horsepower more. Um, but that does avoid the warranty, unfortunately. But apart from that, um, honestly, it's a nice place to be in. It's a nice, it feels nice driving position, although I can't drive it. But let's check out the sound. about to watch my mum do launch control for the first time um, which will be exciting um, before you watch this just bear in mind if you've got one of these cars and you want to see what it's like please drive responsibly and do it in conditions that are safe as boring as I'm being um, and also if you guys are struggling to hear what me and my mum are saying on the camera it's because we're using a different microphone so if you're struggling to understand or it's not it's very quiet and quite faint I do apologise for that, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy my mum's reaction. When you release a clutch, just put your foot all the way down 
A bit more, 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 a bit more. Right, now let go, do it. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's it. Have you done that good girl? All the way down, all the way down. Keep going, keep going. Go hold it. Let go of it now. Second. <laughs> that was better. I was going to say, while we're actually recording, yeah. what do you think of the Viestres tea? I like it. I get frustrated when I have slow people in front of me. Yeah. It has a lot of bite. Yeah. I went to try and focus the other day and realised how sluggish they were in comparison. That, that is our 1.5 diesel, bearing in mind. Yes, okay, so you, yeah. A completely different engine, but still <laughs> comparing. It's a car, it's a car. Comparing SD to a diesel focus. but. But no, I really like it. Any before it's you go anywhere, is there anything you don't like about it that uh, you think you'd, you'd change or not too sure about that? I had a problem with the the screen, the display this morning. It it packed up for some reason. Did it reason. freeze? Yeah, it went bright blue. Yeah, I've had that before actually. On I the don't know what caused yeah. that. Anything I don't like about it? Mm, no, I'm not so keen on the back. I prefer the look of the front than I do the back. Yep. Otherwise, no. I've had lots of admiring comments. People, only two people in the last two weeks have said about the colour. Yeah. I really like it. I can never remember what it's called. Would um, you recommend this to someone your age? Whether it be uh, female or male? I think it depends on whether they enjoy driving cars that have got a bit of poke in them, really. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. It, it, One thing I've noticed as a passenger is these heated seats warm up really quickly. They do. That's and they really get really, really hot. Yeah. So it's lovely though. I love the heated steering wheel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know I couldn't drive it at the end of the day, but I still enjoyed showing you the ins and outs and what the noise is like. I hope you guys enjoyed it too.